Hey guys, this is Aaron and you're watching Aaron Plays Fun Facts. Today I'm going to break down how to quit video games. Based on the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. I gave my story on quitting video games another episode. I suggest you checking it out. I'll have it in the description or pop up on the screen somewhere right now. Now let's shut off our games forever and quit. How? For me, it was hard quitting video games, but it wasn't a hard choice. It shouldn't be a hard choice for you either. Quick summary from Atomic Habits. Habits, which can be playing video games, follow a feedback cycle. Cue, craving, response, reward. The cue, it has to be very specific. It can be opening your computer, listening to the game's soundtrack, or seeing something that visually resembles the game. A craving is a wanting, a desire to do such habit. Your dopamine spikes, not when you play video games, not after, but actually before you play video games. So during your craving time, before you even touch the game, your dopamine, happiness chemical, rises and rises. Free dopamine? Unfortunately not, because if you ended up not responding to the craving and playing the video game, your dopamine, this is baseline, so normal, it spikes and it goes below baseline. Basically your body taking back that free dopamine it just gave you. A response is reacting to the craving, such as going on the game. A reward is the satisfaction from after you play the game. So the four laws of behavior change for breaking bad habits. One, make it invisible. Two, make it unattractive. Three, make it hard. And four, make it unsatisfying. The formula is simple. Cut off the cues and the habit crumbles. To make it invisible, delete the video game from your devices so you can't see it. It reduces the cues and although it's not perfect, it helps a lot. I will praise you a lot for this, but if, if you delete your account from the video game, it will really be taking the next step especially for those games that track all your progress on your account. What I really like to do and also find easy is to put all the gaming content, all of it, not just related to the game, but all of the gaming content that I see on YouTube, in my recommended, on not interested or do not recommend this channel. Make it unattractive. This trick is quite difficult for me, but it works really well. Before you indulge in a bad habit, say what you're about to do out loud, so it adds mindfulness to the action. For example, I am about to play such video game, but I do not need it. It will waste my time, I will feel sluggish for the rest of the day, and I have homework to complete. To make it hard and unsatisfying, repeat to yourselves all the consequences of video games such as sleep deprivation, insomnia, circadian rhythm disorders, depression, aggression, and anxiety. To make things simpler, starting out in a fresh environment will kill off a lot of old cues, makes it much easier to create new good habits to replace the old bad ones. Do that by rearranging your room. One last thing, that helped me a lot to keep all the bad habits at bay is to completely and constantly bother myself with good habits and work. Breaking an addiction is far from simple. Neither is it easy. The choice you make today will grandly impact and change the trajectory of your life. No, I'll do it tomorrow. No, I'll do it next week. It all starts now. If you have any comments, questions, compliments, insults, computer viruses, explosions for me. 
there is a comment section down below. Thank you for watching if you've made it all the way through. Now, are you ready to quit your video games and make a change? Please consider hitting the like button and subscribe if this video has helped you. Share it to whoever might need it. Alright, peace.